So you're ready for your your visit to the inn, to the tavern? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you're all relaxed and ready. Yeah. So using your imagination, um, you know the layout of the tavern. And uh, mm -hmm. so just look at look at me, for me at the, my table and let me know when you feel you're here. Okay. All right. You see me now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Come on over. Okay. I, are you into hugging? Yeah, sure. Great. Yeah. Let's have a great hug. Okay. And sit down. All right. So, as you're sitting here and you're looking around the room, have you acclimated? Can uh, tell me what you're what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, I sense the, the fireplace, the big fireplace. Yes. The bar, a lot of um, stained glass, kind of sunlight coming through stained glass. Mm-hmm. What is, was that in the description? I don't remember. But. No, it wasn't, but that's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it's your room, just, too. <laughs> I'm just getting an impression of that, like, yeah. different colors. Absolutely. Huh. And the sun is shining through, yes. Mm. Okay. So, would you like a nice, cool drink? Sure, yeah. All right. So, don't know if you can see the stargazer over at the uh, bar, but um, she'll bring a special drink just for you. Okay. And, uh, so, do you see anybody in the room at all? I see someone bringing the drink. Okay. To me. All right. And she's putting it down in front of you, and this will, you don't seem like you're nervous or anything, but it'll help with the drink, always helps with opening up that third eye and, and, uh, helping you to, uh, you know, see more in, in uh, this reality. It takes a little bit to uh, adjust. And so just, uh, is there anybody, are you seeing, and it's okay, there's no hurry or anything like that, whatever time it takes to adjust. If you're seeing anybody in the room or seeing somebody that you uh, might like to talk to, just sip on your drink. I was just enjoying the drink. Yes. Like it was really was good. Different, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you seeing anybody in the room? Yeah, I, I do see someone. Over to my right, okay. a little bit. A very unusual looking creature. <laughs> you want to describe, describe it? <laughs> A very kind of a, a bulbous forehead. Okay. And um, masculine, apparently. Mm-hmm. Short, very short. Right. Troll-like tusks. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. We do get quite a few interesting beings here as they come <laughs> through and... He's and smiling at me. Uh huh. Okay. All right. He seems friendly. All right. Oh, you'll find everybody's very friendly and loving here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our uh, get used to this vibration. Very friendly, very loving. Anything else that you see going around? I feel pulled to go outside of the tavern. Isn't there a place outside? Yeah, there's a uh, veranda that wraps yeah. around the building. Well, you can if you want to. See if there's uh, anyone out there that you'd okay, like to I'll talk to. I went out. Okay. And there are two kind of fairy-like beings out there. All right. They're very um, light energy and like fireflies kind of 
Mm -hmm. the human. Right. Yeah. All right. Anything else that you're mm -hmm. seeing the lilies that we have many of uh, the flowers here? Yeah, I do see some. Mm -hmm. All over the place now. Right, yeah. Um, okay. Why don't we walk back in? There's more people okay. in the uh, in the tavern. Okay. Not many out okay. on the uh, veranda right now. Okay. Let's go in. And from my table, my special table that I always sit at, then I have, uh, I can oversee the whole room. Mm -hmm. See everybody mm -hmm. here. So I have another sip of your drink. There is a woman coming out now. Yeah, she's got really black hair. She's very smiling and very unloving, but kind of mischievous. Okay. She seems to have that kind of energy. Describe her. I'm just getting like that she's, she's not like me. I mean, she's very, I'm sensing into her mind, and it's very... So clear. She's a hybrid. Mm. Mm-hmm. From here. I mean, she came kind of into my view. Oh. I would like to ask her more about herself, maybe. When you do it, you need to, you can talk to her telepathically, but also uh, so that we can hear, hear it, uh -huh. um, what she's saying to you telepathically, and what you're at just talk in your regular voice to her, and then she'll telepathically talk with you, and okay. uh, you then just tell us what she's saying. Why, why did you come up to me? I'm asking her that. Okay. And what is she saying? She said I looked interesting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about me looked interesting to you? She said a foreigner. A foreigner, okay. <laughs> well, you would be. <laughs> Just like she is to you, yes? Yeah. She said that she's part of the level of mastery tra training. The level, mastery levels, yeah. Sage. She said sage. She's doing quite advanced. Mm-hmm. So, and then she she um, was like zigzagging off the walls and like flying wall to wall. She is flying. You see her flying. Kind of like she's doing some sort of teleportation really fast, like um, zooming in and out of this reality, kind of. Okay. Yeah, and then just moving really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe showing her skills, huh? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think she is. Yeah, sort of uh, entertaining you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very good. All right. Is there anybody else uh, around in the room that uh, mm -hmm. is catching oh, your gosh. eye? There's quite a few beings in the room right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know how yeah. many of them you, you are seeing. And yeah, well, more and more are coming into focus. Right, right. Yeah, it takes um, a little bit to acclimate. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh, someone was grabbing my hand and pulling me in a direction. Okay. You feel comfortable going with it? It's your... Mm -hmm. You get to do whatever you want here. Okay. If that seems interesting to you... Yeah. Go ahead and see where they might want to lead you and describe who it is that you are seeing. Okay. Um, someone with really like a glowing yellow head, like a sun almost. Oh, okay. Yeah. And kind of like a lion. Like a lion? And lion, yeah. Yeah. She's pulling me and over to... A group of people. Okay. Yeah. Want you to join join the group. Yeah. And okay. this is someone that I know from this lifetime who's pulling me a different um, incarnation of her. Very good. Mm-hmm. All right. You can go ahead and join the group if you like. 
Yeah. Yeah, well. So it's somebody you know from, from this lifetime, from your reality? Um, an incarnation of her, yeah. Like okay. Not her. Right. Yeah, I get her energy in, in that being. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and she is saying that she is all over the place and this is just one of her incarnations here. She's met so many different people from everywhere and uh, introducing me to these other people here and feeling like a expansion of the family mm-hmm. yes. feeling. Right. They're very affectionate. Mm-hmm. Um, very loving. Yeah, very. They're family. Mm-hmm. And they're they're kind of like doing something to me right now to help me relax a little bit. Okay. Kind of massaging me, but energetically. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of tickling too, kind of physical. Okay. They're just like right. being very affectionate. <laughs> and are you enjoying it? Yeah. They're like helping me to open more to this experience. And your drink has been brought to the table with for you, so that will also help you relax if you mm-hmm. take a few more sips and it opens up, like I said, the third eye, the pineal gland, and also will mm-hmm. help you relax. Who else in the group... Uh, there's a being with a, kind of like a, um, bl- almost like a blank face, oh. white, but the face changes. Um, it's like a white blank face, but it has very subtle um, mouth, nose, and eyes. Mm-hmm. But it changes, kind of like a, a sketch. Like right. Black hair. Interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if that's a, a shapeshifter or... It is a shapeshifter. What? Yeah. Mm. This this form that the shapeshifter in is very simple. Like, very simple, just form. Mm-hmm. Not, like, anything dramatic. I guess it's kind of in a resting phase. Okay. Or something. You know, where it's not taking on different a lot of different beliefs or expression. Right. Just like a blank face almost yeah. and subtle markings for the eyes and nose. How about anybody else in the group? There's a snake. A what? A snake. A snake you're seeing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's it's beside that shapeshifter that's just the impression I'm getting of it. It's a big snake. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that's a shapeshifter too. There yeah. are many shapeshifters around. Mm-hmm. And they can present, you know, showing you how one does shapeshift. It's really a very friendly snake. Like it has a very big smile. Mm-hmm. on it and it seems to be emanating joy from its mouth somehow mm-hmm. like there's like a, a vibration moving up through its head that it's just like a sunlight that's helping it to vib- uh, to emanate this expression of joy uh huh okay. yeah yeah well, your group is very interesting, isn't it? Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> its tongue is releasing um, some sort of sound that's really harmonious. And it's very kind of like balancing mm-hmm. and harmonizing right. everyone in me. Feels good? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, many interesting <laughs> beings there. Yeah. Anyone seem familiar to you? Um, uh, I'm getting like a sense of a young girl now with a yellow dress. How old did you see her? 
being? No, seven. Seven, okay. She is actually shape-shifting into an older teenager now. So she's just walking around and she's very active with people. Very fluid and graceful. They're all putting on a, a great show for you. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to come. They're open and <clears throat> ready to talk with you. All right. Like a dog that um, I'm going to go over and communicate with. Okay, very good. So describe it as your... Okay. All right. Um, I'm sitting in front of it, and it's, it's a white wolf. White wolf? Type, white wolf type looking dog, yes. Okay. Do you have any association in your reality about with wolves, or? Yes, I have association with a white wolf. I really, my dog is a white dog, and I associate that with a wolf. Sometimes. Okay. White wolf. But this one is very special. It put its paw on my shoulder. Uh-huh. On my right <laughs> shoulder. And is it saying anything to you? Telepathically? It's telling me something about it's going to help my mother. Because my mother had um, something wrong with her shoulder in the past few days. Okay. Very excruciating pain. It it also says that it's connected to my family somehow. Through your dog also? Mm hmm Yeah. Sort of like a parallel? Mm hmm Yeah. It's yeah. parallel to your dog. Oh. And to my other dog that I had before when I was... Um, a teenager. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling that they were parallels. This right. dog I have now and the one. Right. And, and now this dog. And so showing that uh, your mother and we put the paw on that uh, could be very healing for her. Is that what it's mm -hmm. transmitting to you? Yeah. You can talk to him. Yeah. He'll talk telepathically okay. with you. So you're putting your paw on my hand? I mean, on my shoulder to symbolize you're going to help my mom. Are you asking yes. him that? Ye yes. Okay. Yes. And then the dog says yes. Yes, I will help her heal this working with her in her transformation of this chosen path. How is his parallel, your dog, in your reality? Uh, what's the relationship with your dog, with your mother? My mom? Yeah, yeah she watches my dog uh -huh. when I leave and go places. Okay, yes. Um, but, yeah, she's not really a dog person normally, but she's she um, is okay with watching them, and she enjoys. I have two dogs. And what are their names? Um, um, Basil is the one who's a white dog. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Pluto is the other one. And what about his parallel that you're communicating with? What do you think? Ask him what his name is. All right. Yeah, I just got, like, the sound of chimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then I looked in his eyes and I could see the shadok, the chimes that are in between the stones reflecting in, in his eyes. And I look. Hmm. Do they have any significance for you for you and your reality? The chimes? Something about uh, that they can possibly help my mother. There you go, vibration. Mm-hmm. 
vibrational healing. Yeah. Is he suggesting and anything to do with the chimes? Well, how's that coming about? He said that he's going to be working with the Shadok with my mom. Okay. And I can also tap into that and help with it. And how does that feel to you? Do you like that idea? Yeah, yeah. And I also get crystals. It also has crystals? Yeah, something about crystals um, also might be able to help her. Okay. And you have crystals, correct? I have some crystals, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that is good. That That is uh, a nice parallel that you've got to uh, to meet there. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And you can tap into his energy at any time by just uh, remembering it, okay. your interaction, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, see if, uh, see what transpires. Yeah, he... What else is he saying? Somehow, I don't know how he did this, but I'm, I'm very small and I'm on, on his back, on his back right now. Wow. Like, Shape -shifting. Yeah, hugging, hugging his body, like, but I'm small, like a little being, yeah. And, uh, I'm just giving him a big hug and being immersed in his fur. So he allowed you and, to shapeshift. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels very warm, and it, he is doing this to form more of a close connection to me. Okay. So I can be very, very close to him. And you'll have a total sense of uh, who he is and how he feels. Yeah. And I can connect that to the dog I have now. Yes. Because there's a similarity there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, um, I'm going to slide down off of his body now. You're all right. And, yeah, I just landed on the floor, and, and I'm back to my normal size now. Well, that was quite an experience. <laughs> yeah, it was. Really fun. No, he's just, I just am petting him on the head. And, uh, guess I'll move on. Okay. I wanna... Well, you'll remember him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. And you can have experiences with him in your reality also. Yeah, I just opened my eyes and the first thing I saw was a picture of a very light colored dog. So I saw, I think we're linking synchronistically already. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you're moving on from the parallel? Okay, yeah. You'll get his name later. Okay when you tap into it. Uh-huh. Anybody else look uh, interesting that you mm -hmm. want to engage with? I'm attracted to that snake again. That's a shapeshifter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the symbology of the snake, what does that uh, feel like to you? that's presenting itself that way. Power. It feels like very powerful and... Wise. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to have a conversation with him? Okay. I feel like he's just balancing me like I felt him, his heart connect to mine when I looked at him. Okay. And his eyes are hyp hypnotic. In a way. Mm-hmm. So a very balancing, like hypnotic uh, feeling for you. 
Yeah, okay. and his third eye is kind of, I feel like he's connecting himself with my chakras. Right, and balancing them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. And he, he kind of said something about not having any words for this. Not having any words for what he's doing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. There are no words for it, or he, or it has no Just words? Just at that moment, like, I was kind of trying to have a conversation with him, but ah. he said there aren't really any words for this So it's just the experience, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so that's what he's mirror, mirroring to you, is just the feeling that you're getting for the balancing and tying into the chakras. and mm -hmm. So just uh, feel that energy, that balancing energy that he's putting forth for you. But, yeah, and I feel like his eyes are showing me what, like, an extraterrestrial eyes are like as well. Okay. Um, I feel that they're not like a normal snake size, but they're more like what we would imagine um, Bashar's eyes would be like. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Very colorful and at least energetically very colorful and deep and soothing and windows. Windows uh, into the universe. Is he inviting you to look into the windows to see what you see? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, because that's why he's expressing it that way, as the windows mm -hmm. to the universe that you can peer into if you want to. He's telling me to remember. What do you get? Remember getting? how... Okay. Remember infinity. Remember infinity? Remember, yeah. Okay. Remember the simplicity of infinity. Okay. And just having that awareness as part of who I am in my daily life. He's giving me that reminder and gift through this experience. Mm-hmm. Very good. How does that feel? very expansive and something I would definitely love to embody and have as a part of who I am. Well, he's showing that that is part of who you are, mm -hmm. the expansiveness. Mm -hmm. You're really looking mm -hmm. into part of yourself in that expansive, yeah. the eyes that he opened up for you. What else mm -hmm. do you see? I see a small ship just zooming through the, the universe. Okay. The starry night. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the feeling? Because there can be some ET contact there for you uh, if you keep peering in. The ship seems far away. Like, I don't know if I can go on to it. What feeling do you get from the energy of the ship? Mm -hmm. Gold, definitely. It feels a golden energy. It's a golden energy. Do you get a feeling for any civilization or who uh, um, might be attached to? Maybe Arcturian. I I always um, kind of associate gold with Arcturian. Okay. Is it coming any closer for you? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Nothing. It was just a flash to just let you know. Yeah. That it was there. An Arcturian uh, connection for you. Mm hmm That you have felt before, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it was just sort of a hello. We're here for you. Yeah, that's kind of what it felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. As you're peering in, anything else going on or... Are you, can you let us know when mm -hmm. you're finished with that? Yeah, I think it's time to end that one. Okay, very good. All right. 
So, do you want to come back to the table and sit down? Yeah, that sounds good. Have another sip of your drink? Mm-hmm. So, did you enjoy your your visit? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. It was really fun. Quite an experience. Yeah, definitely. Like I said they were all here wanting to interact mm-hmm. with you. Yeah. So... All right, so we will end it here and okay. say that it was very happy to have had you come to visit. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, you're quite Help welcome. Me. All right, so you can go back to your timeline, your reality, and I will right. give me a hug and say we'll... You can come any time that you like. We're always welcome here.